welcome everyone to another edition of Jeremax Eastern. I am the Executive Vice President of Townflation, Mr. Don Bronchitis. And you're gonna have quite a very impressive opening match as we have Skippy Pearls in action against another newcomer. You know Skippy Pearls? He was in the finals of that tournament last time. He was very impressive, Biff Andreas. It was just that much more impressive. Oh! And his opponent is a very scary man. I'm frightened just by the music. And there he is. It's the Undertaker of Jeremax, Jack Buzzsaw. You know, he's been trying to get into Jeremax for about 10 months now. I figured I'd give him a shot. And here we go, Skippy Pearls and the Undertaker of Jeremax, Jack Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw in control, he's a very impressive talent just from his, like, looking at him. Oh, very impressive reversal by Skippy Pearls. Skippy Pearls likes to work on the arm. And now Jack Buzzsaw fighting back. Throws him against the ropes, off the ropes himself. Oh, what a very impressive float over DDT, maybe. I don't know wrestling moves very much, but I do know things about very impressive talent. And Skippy Pearls and The Undertaker of Jeremiah Jack Buzzsaw are both very impressive talents. Oh, oh my. Look at the strength of Skippy Pearls. Oh, but the reversal skills of the Undertaker of Jeremax, Jack Buzzsaw, will seem to be working. Not so much now, Skippy Pearl still in control, he's a very impressive talent. Off the ropes. Oh, what a Larry! Now working on the leg, I guess he's trying to take down Jack Buzzsaw's entire body. Jack Buzzsaw needs to get back in this. Oh, Skippy Pearls with a very impressive, uh, running shoulder tackle. Jack Buzzsaw's on Dream Street. Skippy Pearl's clearly in control. Oh, what a very impressive power bomb by Skippy Pearls. Seems to be going for the end. If I was the Undertaker of Jeremax, Jack Buzzsaw, I'd be worried. Oh, there it is, the very impressive slam. Is this it? What's he going for? Oh, the poop deck. Oh, and he nails the poop deck. Very impressive finishing maneuver. One, two, three. Skippy Pearl's very impressive talent. Wins again here on Eastern after losing to Pip Andreas last time. He's back on track. We've got some very impressive tag action coming up next. Uh oh, here come two very bad apples. You know they're bad apples because that's what their team name's called. And there's them with their apple cannon. It's Ben Davis. He's one bad apple. You wouldn't want to mess with him in a dark alleyway. Oh. And here comes his tag team partner. Also a very bad apple with an apple cannon. It's Drew McIntosh. Drew McIntosh. Ben Davis, the bad apples, they're pretty bad apples. But they're taking on, oh, 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 one of my favorite talents. Johnny, a former Vortex commentator. I've been scouting his butt for a long time. It's very impressive. He chose his own partner. Well, I guess it must be very impressive if Johnny chose him. It's Dylan Connell. This will be his in-ring return. What a great, very impressive honor for Eastern to have the in-ring return of Dylan Connell. Johnny came to me and he's like, I gotta have Dylan as my partner. Both people seem to dislike Glamour on McDaniel. But here we go. They're gonna have to get rotten if they want to beat the Bad Apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! If you don't understand, these two, Ben Davis and Drew McIntosh, are really bad apples. And it's the bad apples taking on uh, Johnny, Dylan Connell, that's Ben Davis, 
Off the ropes! Oh, what a big boot! Very impressive move by Johnny. Clearly, this man does not like apples. Especially bad apples. He must be an orange man. Off the top rope! Oh, he missed the splash! That was very impressive. But Ben Davis back up. I wonder where he put his apple cannon. Johnny tags and Dylan and Drew McIntosh coming in. Oh, power slam by Ben Davis. Very impressive. Oh, and one right back at him. Dylan Connell grew his hair out. That's pretty impressive. Dylan throwing Ben Davis into his own corner. What's he playing on? Oh. Oh, my. Ben Davis tags in Drew McIntosh. He seems to be a very impressive talent as well, but a very, very bad apple. Drew McIntosh, what is Johnny doing? Oh my! I would scout that every day! Very impressive J uh, jig. Is that what the kids call dancing? I don't know. Oh, Drew McIntosh rolls him up, but he's not the legal man. That's not very impressive. Clearly, he's spoiled and rotten. His mind as well as his body. I mean, what human being would want to willingly call themselves? A bad apple. But Drew McIntosh and Ben Davis are very bad apples. And now the bad apple's in control of the anti Lamorel crew. Off the ropes. Dylan Connell. But he gets right back up. Dylan Connell wasn't at warp. He was at a track meet. Oh, nice scoop slam. And he seems to be calling for the end here. If I was Drew McIntosh, I would try to... Oh, and he nails the fun bags! He hits him with fun bags, tags in Johnny. I'm very impressed with that finishing maneuver. Oh, double teamwork. Very impressive talent from Johnny and Dylan Connell. Johnny in control of Drew McIntosh. One bad apple. The other bad apple. Oh, what is that? That's very provocative. I can see his butt. It's very impressive, as I've scouted many times before. Drew McIntosh <clears throat> and Ben Davis. Oh, the fisherman suplex. He holds into a pin, but very impressive kick out. Thanks to his partner, Ben Davis. Drew McIntosh is still in, but Dylan now. Out of the ring goes Ben Davis. He's one bad apple. <clears throat> nice backdrop. Very impressive backdrop from Johnny. Oh. He goes for the pin, but Ben Davis can't kick out for his partner. And the Bad Apples can't win. It wasn't very impressive. Johnny, however, is still one of the most impressive talents I've ever seen. Dylan wasn't bad either. Oh, but here comes the main event. We're just getting right through this show, aren't we? This is quicker than Kim Kardashian's marriage. <laughs> I can't even finish the joke. <laughs> I can't even finish the joke, but here comes uh, this week's challenger for the light heavyweight title. It's Evan O'Shea. He commentated a show before. He looks to be a very impressive talent, and not anything like Jesse Rios. And here comes Evi Andreas for his first title defense, light heavyweight champion. Remember, he has to win three title matches in a row if he wants to try and make the roster. But so far, he's been a very impressive talent, beating Skippy Pearls. So this ought to be an exciting match. Here we go. Evan O'Shea, Biffy Andreas, goes for a martial arts kick. Nails him. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, he went to the well. Shades of Skippy Pearls, he seems to absorb the moves of his opponents. I guess that's why they call him the man's man, but Evan O'Shea in control early. He's very impressive looking. I like his ponytail. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, normally you would find ponytails on a woman, but oh, he catches the leg. Very impressive talent. Biffy Andreas, light heavyweight champion for a reason, though. Here we go. 
We're gonna receive her behind! Brings him to the front! I think he's calling some spots here that's not very impressive! You know, the point of this is to show that it's not fake, but when you're just blatantly calling spots in the middle of a match like that, I can't hire a talent like that! Very unprofessional, very unimpressive! He's gonna have to do a lot to come back now! Shame on you, Evan O'Shea! Oh! Nice pump handle slam, he didn't even follow through on it! I guess he's strong enough to just slam him down. Nice, uh, TDT suplex maneuver. Biffy Andreas hasn't really... Oh! Very impressive counter. Biffy Andreas hasn't really gotten into this match yet. He's in jeopardy of losing his light heavyweight title, and bam! There's another one of those pump handle slams. Very impressive. Oh, there we go. Glover's quarrel. But Evan O'Shea is best to dodge out of the running grapple. Very impressive talent. Seven O'Shea after that mishap. We recall the spots. Oh, he's getting right back up. Biff off the top. Oh, he crowned him, but to no avail. Evan O'Shea is just in control. What's this? Oh, and he nails a nice power bomb, but not enough to get even a one count. He's going to have to do more. There's a reason Biffy Andreas is a reigning like. Oh, heavyweight champion, but he really can't get a groove. He lost his groove! Can anybody find his groove? Cause certainly he can't. I have a feeling we're gonna have a new, very impressive light heavyweight champion, if it have an O'Shea. Oh! Maybe he was being greedy when he called his spot and called spots where he looks good the whole time. Oh! Drop kick to the apron! Evan O'Shea being very impressive, I might have to bring him back if he loses, but I don't think he's gonna lose. Biff Andreas, all he's doing is kicking him. That's not very impressive. If you want to, you know, make it to Jeremax, you're going to have to show me your moves. And you can't show me your moves when you've lost your groove. As the executive vice president of talent inflation, it's not very impressive. It makes me sad a little. I put all my faith in this title, and now Evan O'Shea is making the champion look like a bitch. Once he's crawling away, Biff Andreas is in trouble! Oh, he got out of that one! That was a sticky situation! Ring's probably still sticky from those bad apples! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have to be serious! Light heavyweight titles on the line, Biff ain't even gonna earn his first year a point! Evan O'Shea has been in control the whole time, he's very impressive talent! Break to the eye! He's playing dirty! Is he a bad apple as well? I don't know. Smacks him down. Biff Andreas finally getting some offense. Not sure why he went to the toe. That didn't work the first time, you knucklehead. Look at that. Evan O'Shea has this in the wraps. I can't believe it. We're going to have a new champion. Biff Andreas hasn't even gotten out of first gear. The man's man. It's about to be turned into a lady. Oh, German, is it over? I think it's it. One, two, and we have a no. I thought we had a new champion. Very impressive kick out by the light heavyweight champion. And he is pissed. Nice drop kick, though. Baby Andreas. Oh. Oh, wave of the future out of nowhere. He pulled that out of his ass. Oh, I can see it right there. His bow is just right in my face. Very impressive, but not as impressive as Johnny's. Evan O'Shea with a nice drop kick. Lost control for a little bit, but seems to be back into things. Oh, nice reversal. That was just the beginning. And this could be the end. Evan O'Shea, dizzy. He too was on Dream Street. Blow in your mouth! There's the wave of the future. You know, I believe this is it. He didn't call enough spots. And Biffy Andreas has earned his first error point. Still the champion. Thank you for watching and live your life as a very impressive talent. See ya.